Well, welcome or welcome back everyone to yet another adventure with me, Mr. Bane, playing Sonic PO6. This is the finale, so if you haven't seen the other parts, go ahead and check that out. I have a lot of trouble getting through the levels, but hey, it's entertaining to watch. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, and type in the comments below to see what kind of fan game you want me to cover next. Here we go, let's see. Tropical Jungle, ooh. Love the orange legs. Guys, I am super pumped and stoked. Just overall excited because I finished a workout and now I get to do what I like, which is play this game and again fail as usual. So something I wanted to talk about with fan games in general is that, don't get me wrong, Sonic Community doing spectacular job. I mean, look at the material I'm working with right now. But I feel there's this um, harsh reality of Pretty much fan games have evolved into just remaking content. And there's nothing bad on it because now we've gotten to the point where we're fixing Sega's mistakes to obviously meet our expectations. To be honest, it's like the Sonic community loves to criticize those that, you know, try to make their own creative ideas. It discourages a lot of the creativity that many of us might have in the Sonic community. It's great that we want to make yet another classic game or yet another um, Sonic Forces or Generations mod. Hold on, it's, it's really hard to talk and focus on playing the game. But I feel like we're just, you know, we're just stuck in this era of having to remake games. And even Sega is, is starting to do it too, you know, with the recent Sonic Colors Ultimate release. Now they're trying to please the Sonic fans by just remaking old content because it's safer. If you start, you know, going through a creative path of exploring something new with Sonic, as they usually do, you're basically taking one step forward, two steps back. You know, and this goes back to my own game. I will admit, you know, my game's beyond perfect, not even close. I personally didn't want to remake yet another game, and that was surprisingly easy. Quite short. Ooh. Fun fact, I tried remaking like a 2D version of like Sonic Colors and, and that stuff is still out there. I personally think it's garbage and completely did not age well, but it was the only ever public release that I've made. And for some reason, people still praise it. And it's like, it's caca. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Um, God damn it. The one thing that came out of it was that people now when they, they're they making um, 2D Sonic fan games, I see them use the sprites that I made for that game. I didn't think they looked good, but people seem to love it. And now you can see them all over the place. You know, people thought it was great because it was, uh, it was a remake of an already existing title. And I did make one for Sonic Generations, and I never released that because eventually, you know, you get bored and you start to question like why do I need to be remaking this especially a game as good as Generations so with my game I wanted to toss everything out the window obviously still keep some iconic things but I wanted a, a different way for um, Sonic to play I wanted people to really think about their inputs a lot of um, Sonic's gameplay is automation you know you can still mess up miserably but it's forgiving and that's Perfectly fine for some people, but I wanted it to be something hard. Oh, silver. Okay, how do we... Hold up, before we get into this, let me figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay, anyways, I wanted to make something new. Ditching a lot of the things that what we know about a Sonic game made things harder, and I acknowledge that, which is why I am working tirelessly, or was working tirelessly, on easing the difficulty. And I kind of did lose that motivation when I released things for Sage, which is kind of sad to say. The event is supposed to be uplifting for developers and creators, but you know, I already knew I was gonna get some pretty harsh expectations. But I remember being super excited when, I'm not gonna say the person in particular, stream the content because a lot of people were excited about it but because i didn't have a tutorial set other than a video which i did hope that people would watch the person that was doing said stream wasn't doing the greatest and did not show off the full capability of what my game could do you know and i i saw like you know some of the people in this chat be completely disgusting they would say things like the developer needs to stop or they just need to stop game development altogether they don't know what they're doing and i was kind of like Damn! Exactly. Exactly how Silver felt. 
This is exactly how I felt. It came over for me. I had took the time thinking that I did something wrong. You know, maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe I really don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I should just scratch the whole thing. And all these things were running through my mind and it was a little depressing and especially you're wanting to join this expo that you're you're thinking that not that you're getting praise but you know getting support from people who want to see the game fleshed out i could definitely take a beating like you know people can be say the most harsh of things but when people start going towards talking about the way you are and them thinking that they know your personality just based on the game alone it's kind of like you don't know me you know i remember one of the people specifically talking about how my game was named Sonic Momentum and that it's just a display of how big of an ego I have and it was like no I just named it that way because wanted it to sound a little bit similar to Sonic Mania having three syllables and to me in my head it was just a name it wasn't about like oh I have the best game ever my game is gonna be the next thing like no I don't have that mentality and I don't never wanted to people to think that either but anyways what really helped me get through was having a strong close group of support teams uh specifically the team behind sonic infinity plus engine like man those guys really helped me out props to them for for everything because super supportive people and i just want to make sure that they get the proper credit that they deserve gave me the energy to really push out three updates within the entire week of sage and these were big updates that changed the pace of the game changed a lot of things it's something that was very stressful to do given the short amount of time that i got i do listen you know i did all those things because i did listen despite you know some people being a little bit more harsher than they should have but it helped me to get be stronger as a developer but again, I just want to say thanks to the Infinity Plus team. <laughs> I was a little worried about Silver's gameplay because they just put me on there. But anyways, I wanted to just take a moment to get real personal about my feelings towards Sage 2021. Hopefully no one poops on me in the comments, but I just think some of us need to work on being a little bit more encouraging towards uh, creators who want to display their talents during expos like Sage or other stuff in general. I feel like sometimes we forget there are people who are behind those games that they make. They work really hard to try to put out this, this stuff to the public. And you know, so, some of them maybe have issues with sorting out their confidence. <laughs> I feel like that's why this day and age, you know, people are suffering with so much anxiety and so much um, depression because, you know, the small amount of confidence that they give, they just get backlash for something that they're just trying to have fun with. I think that's definitely the message behind having an expo like Sage. But hey, I'm curious on what you guys think. I'm wondering, go ahead, put in the comments. I want, I want to read them. I'm sure I'm not the only one who maybe share this sentiment. Oh god, that is the worst rank I've gotten. Let's start to focus on the game more now. Oh. Oh, hi! I have my friends here. Oh god, the lag in this level though? I know my computer's poopy caca, but Jesus. Alright, well, enjoy the lag, everyone. Jesus, oh my god. The frame rate. Okay, can Tails and Knuckles do something? Oh, I actually have to jump onto the ball? Whoops. Oh god, well... <laughs> oh god. Oh, I can't bump into things. Okay, um... Time for dummy rings. I like how Sales' gameplay is always like, let's find the Switch. Which technically sh should be Knuckles' part, I think. It would make more sense. But, I mean, Tails is an explorer too, so... God, this stage is incredibly laggy, though. Where am I going? Oh, I have zero rings. I have zero rings. Oh god, which one are my rings? Ah! Uh, no. Oh my god. Tails, you are a god. Talk about a scare. Oh my god. Don't fall, please. Tails, just lock on. Death by ring. Death by ring. Did I kill them all? Did I murder them? Sonic time. Well, oh, this is so risky. Oh my god. Sorry there's not much commentary, I just so focused on- these levels do get harder. My goodness. Okay, ooh, ooh, where am I going? Ah! Ooh, I really hope I don't have to restart the level. This is the last level, I don't want to restart now. Okay, just be- just be patient, just be patient. I'm like panicking right now. Oh no, let's not shut anything down. Also, what is glass gonna do against Sonic? Come on now. I'm not another ball section. Oh. 
get on this ball. I need a one up. I need to get a hundred rings. Please. Uh, what is going on? Ooh, this makes me nervous though. No, no, no. I am just ignoring y'all. Screw y'all. Nope. Nope. Don't want to deal with you. Nope. Nope. Dude, my hands are like shaking. <laughs> if I die right now, I have to restart the entire level, and I don't want to do that. I'm already at 10 minutes. Excuse me. But I do not want to replay 10 minutes of my life. Yay, I got a 1-up. Okay, we're safe now. I'm about to get another 1-up, too. Nice! Bye! Who needs a boost for gameplay when you got your spin dash? Oh my god, the end! Yes! Nice! What a perfect ending. Look at this. The whole team's here. Is that... Sonic Adventure DX's poses? For Tails? And Knuckles? And I got an S. I got an S. Oh my goodness. I got an S. My first S in the entire game, and it was the ending to the stage. All right, guys, and that concludes this Sonic gameplay of P06. If you want to see me play Shadow Stages, go ahead and comment below. I had a really exciting run with Sonic. I can't believe I ended it off with an S rank. I'm a professional. What can I say? Until next time, Mr. Bane out, and have a wonderful day, you guys.